my name is Lee Johnson, the athletic director here. Uh, and this has always been a special time of the year for me because it kind of helps me to reflect on the time on which I signed. And I didn't know my path would take me to this, this, this location. Uh, but I want to recognize the parents that helped these children get to this, state, uh, to this position. Uh, I know it's a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of coaching. Uh, so uh, I think you should be honored that your child is in this position. Uh, I got a chance to work with all these individuals, some longer than others. Uh, they're all good men. Uh, they're all people that I felt proud to coach, all people I wanted to coach, and all people I know contributed to whatever I was a part of. So I want to tell, take, take this time to say thank you to the families for allowing them to be in this situation. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your support. And thank you for letting your son participate in a sport in which I got a chance to work with. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna have the coach come up here and have a few words to talk about uh, each individual athlete. Uh, we're gonna start with bowling. Uh, so Coach Terrence Johnson is our bowling coach and he has two athletes that are actually signing today. Thank you. Good evening. I have two young men up here that I've been, that has, I have been, uh, can't talk, that's been with me, one's been with me for three years, one's been with me four. Uh, I'm gonna start with Cal Jackson. He is a three-year varsity player, and he helped us win swap back-to-back -back seasons. He came in ninth, third, and second of this year for his average. And I'm honored to coach you. Thank you for letting me coach you. He has improved since uh, freshman to now, averaging 200. And I know he's going to succeed when he goes to college. So congratulations, young man. Then I have EJ Walker. EJ, I've known his family for a long time before um, in Little League. EJ has become a great young man. He also has led us to back-to-back -back championships, but this year he is high average in SWAT. He's bowler of the year. And with these two guys by my side, we have won SWAT back-to-back seasons. So once again, EJ, thank you for letting me coach you. You will succeed. You and Kyle will go far. Just remember what I told you. Patience, patience, patience. Congratulations, guys. Uh, next up, we're gonna bring up our football coach, Coach Brandon Schoen. And uh, he actually has uh, five athletes that are actually participating in college at the next level, or play, participating in football at the next level. Coach Schoen. Huh? I threw the same house. I hate these kids. I don't know why I didn't coach y'all. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start talking about uh, Marquise Andrews. Uh, Marquise came to us this past season, um, was a team captain for us. He also won our sportsmanship award. Um, he embodies to us what it means to be a Northwest Knight football player. He's tough as nails, hardworking, plays with a chip on his shoulder. Um, very excited to see what he does. He's going to Muskegon University, and he's going to major in criminal justice. And then we have Wendez Bates. Uh, Wendez was another kid that came to us this summer. Um, very excited to see his future. When Dez is undecided on his major, he's going to Simpson University in California. Um, when Dez is another guy, he's going to work his tail off for you and do anything you need for you. I'm excited to see how he grows the next four years. He's only been playing football for two years now. So it's excited to see how he goes with the, a whole program, a whole offseason with lifting. Um, Brandon Rice is our next guy. Brandon's another guy. He was a first-team all-SWAT guy. He was an honorable mention all-city. Um, he won the Page Award his junior year as well. Um, he's been a clear leader for us the last two years since I've been coaching him. Um, he's another guy. He, he embodies what it means to be a Northwest Knight. Um, everything he does, whether that's in the classroom, whether it's on the field and weight room, 
he plays with a chip on his shoulder. He does everything from a leadership standpoint. Um, I couldn't ask nothing more from him. Very proud of him, excited to see what he does. He's also going to Muskegon University as well. And then EJ Walker, he's also, as you guys know, he's going to Muskegon to uh, bowl, but he's also punting as well and being a kicker as well. He's going to major in criminal justice. EJ was honorable mention, all city. He was first team all conference, SWAC. And he also had the second longest field goal in school history. And then we have Braylon White, BJ, as a lot of you guys know him. Uh, BJ came to us this summer as well. BJ was probably the biggest headache I ever had. Um, but we love BJ. And you know, BJ's a guy, once you get him by then, he's going to do everything he can for you, give you his all. He plays fast, he plays hard, physical, he'll do anything you want. I'm excited to see how Wittenberg will use him these next four years. I think they'll use him in a couple different spots because he's that type of versatile kid. Um, has the ability to do anything he wants, puts his mind to. Um, BJ will also be uh, majoring in computer, computer science. Yep, in computer science. And uh, yeah, that's our football guys. All right. Um, before we do the, before we do the, uh, before we do the, uh, the official deed, I do want to give one piece of advice to you, uh, fellas. Uh, like I said, it was a privilege to know you, but never sell yourself short. All right. Any obstacle come before you, just lean into it with your biggest effort. Um, know you got the support of Northwest behind you. Know you got the support of your family behind you, uh, and you can accomplish everything you want to. So don't sell yourself short. So this time. Could y'all put the uh, pen to paper? And let's go ahead and conclude the ceremony. Coach Lumpkin, you got it? Thank you, sir. And like I said, after the conclusion, feel free to take pictures uh, on your own terms. Just rotate out. Uh, you're free to take your nameplate with you. And uh, thank y'all for coming out. If there's more stuff in the back, feel free to finish up on the cookies and the drinks. I don't want to have to take anything home. And I uh, appreciate y'all coming out.